If you didn't see, a Georgia lawmaker got punched in the face this week. But it wasn't Marjorie Taylor Greene or really anyone from the state of Georgia because we're talking about the country of Georgia. And specifically, the controversy going on there surrounding a proposed so-called foreign agent law. A controversy which led to this moment during a session of Georgian parliament yesterday. You know, which then led to a massive scuffle as others tried to break up the fight. And so this law is being proposed by the majority Georgian Dream Party. And what it would do is require media and non-commercial organizations to register as pursuing the interests of a foreign power if they receive more than 20% of their funding from abroad. And the reason this has been so widely criticized is because it's eerily similar to a law that already exists in Russia. A law that critics say has been used to stigmatize independent news media and organizations critical of the government. In fact, according to Human Rights Watch, since the adoption of the first foreign agent law in Russia, hundreds of civic groups and activists have been designated as foreign agents, with many of them having to close down to avoid what they've called the toxic label, and then also others having to do so because they simply couldn't afford to comply with the law's labeling and reporting requirements. And all of this, as has been reported by the Columbia Journalism Review, as these types of foreign agent laws are cropping up all over the place, with China, Uganda, and even Australia being among the countries that have implemented some version of a foreign agent designation. Designation. But Georgia is understandably a bit more sensitive to Russian influence. You know, way before Russia invaded Ukraine, it invaded Georgia, where it still occupies territory today, with many having argued that the weak international response to that invasion was a green light for Putin to just sort of do whatever the hell he wants. And that's why despite having a government that is often seen as being friendly to Putin, just 2% of the Georgian population says they're pro-Russian, with nearly 80% saying they support European integration. And in fact, one of the main reasons many Georgians are opposed to this law is that it could make it harder for the country to join the EU. And to that point, EU foreign policy Chief Joseph Borrell has said the law is not in line with EU core norms and values and that if implemented, it would negatively impact Georgia's progress on its EU path. And so with all that, many Jordans are doing everything they can to keep that from happening. And notably, they have succeeded in the past. Because see, this is actually the second time there's been an attempt to pass this foreign agent law in Georgia, with mass protests forcing the government to take it off the table the last time that it came up. And so now we're seeing the same thing, with thousands protesting in the street every night this week. And this is reportedly they are facing a brutal police response. And this also, as support supporters of the law in Parliament seem even more determined this time to force the law through. And in fact, despite the backlash in Georgia and in the EU, they've just passed the law in its first reading. And there's really nothing stopping them from seeing it all the way through. Even though Georgia's president, which is largely a ceremonial role anyways, has said that she would veto the law if it passed Parliament, her term ends this year, and the Georgian Dream Party now actually has enough votes to override the veto anyway. And on top of that, they've successfully changed the Constitution and passed other laws to boost their chances in the upcoming election. So really, it's these protests that are the only potential option obstacle now. But for now, all of this is still playing out. We have our eyes on it, and we're going to have to wait to see what happens.